I'm, I'm sorry for like the bad lighting and like the abnormal video and like I'm such a mess. I'm sorry. It's been a really rough couple days. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, it's been rough. I'm not going to cry this early. I've been crying so long. As you can see, I'm not going to cry this early. Okay. As you can see, this is not like my normal videos. I'm not going to be cutting. I'm just going to be speaking from, from the heart with you guys. So, you know, I'm not going to address everything because I'm sure you guys already know what's going on. Basically, in the past and recently and a couple days ago and always, I've said and done some not okay things. And I am so embarrassed and ashamed. That person who did that is not the person that you're seeing now. I love you know, everyone and all people. Would I hire them? No, but like, that's not a hate crime. You know, people are dying. I'm not killing anyone. Hold on. You gotta stay hydrated. Um, a couple days ago, some allegations were made against me um, in some tweets, and I've received a lot of negativity online, and I'm not used to negativity, so this is really hard for me. Like, I'm, I'm being, like, marginalized and segregated. And it's really hard, and no one knows what I'm going through. I would just like to say that what happened wasn't my fault. I was deeply influenced by the people I was around, and the people on my staff, and who were controlling said product, and said um, merchandise, or said, like, you know, product, or whatever, whatever the problem was, I don't remember. That person has been fired, and disowned and I no longer speak their name. I will no longer say their name ever again. Because of this, I will not be showing the text messages because I do, I have receipts. I really have receipts, but this is not my, not my fault. Sorry, I'm sorry my words because I'm like so emotional. I do have the receipts for why this is not my fault, but because I want to put this person as far away from my life as possible and I don't want to create more negativity online because I'm not about that. I'm not going to be showing you the receipts because I'm above that. I'm above that. <sighs> this is so hard. It's just been so hard. It's not convincing. I know I said I wouldn't cut, but like I started crying right there, and so I had to cut and come back. I'm better now. Sorry, this video is gonna be like so rambly. <laughs> oh, this lighting is so bad. By the way, I'm sorry if the quality's bad. I'm filming on my phone. Um, you know, last minute. You know, it's been rough. It's been really rough. I just want to say, because I love my fans, and I would never want to hurt my fans, that, like, I'm still going to be creating content for you guys. I'm still going to, you know, be active, and I'm open to criticism and change. And I would never do anything to hurt any single one of you, because I think you're all valid. Anything that was done that I did was unknowing, 
oh, it wasn't me and it was somebody that works for me or is associated with me and it's not actually me. My Twitter gets hacked so frequently, like you guys have no idea. It's so insane. Like almost every day. I don't know who tweets those things, not me. Oh shit. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys can understand I will be taking a little bit of a break just to like heal and grow as a person because I really want to grow and learn from this even though like it wasn't necessarily my fault but I really want to learn from this and honestly what I want to say is I'm sorry if you were hurt by this. I'm sorry that you felt bad. Sorry. You know, sometimes it's gonna happen. But I'm sorry that you didn't like what happened, you know? Okay. Um, I hope that you guys understand and that you guys care. Um, yeah. I love you guys. Bye. I'm not gonna put it and say any of those things ever again. Like, I don't even care. Like, I don't even, like, fuck this shit. Like, I'm not even, I don't even care. Oh, shit.